What's up guys, welcome back to Code with Clinton. So in this video, I'm going to list a project every beginner who wants to master Django should try building because I've had these questions come to me a lot of times. People always ask me, Clinton, what kind of what kind of project should I build if I want to master Django? So I'm gonna answer this question. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna answer that I'm gonna answer this question in this video. So before I proceed, if you need a roadmap to learn Django, check the video's description down below. I have a video linked down there. For you to learn Django, a roadmap that's gonna guide you on learning Django. So that's what I'll do. I'm gonna start with this video. So as a beginner out there, you want to learn Django. Here are some projects I recommend for you to try building out. So the number one project I recommend is you have to try and build a to-do application. So I'm gonna start from simple to complex. So do well to watch this video to the end. You understand? So as a beginner wants to learn Django, I recommend you try building a to-do application because that's the very basic understand in whatever you're learning you must in whatever thing you're learning you must make sure you get acquainted with the basics of that thing we make sure you get acquainted with the basics of that technology in a sense so try building a to-do app you know it's gonna it's gonna introduce you to Django crude operations you understand how to build a crude application so try out a to-do app so once you're done with a to-do application so the next thing you should try being try and build a blog website so i mentioned i mentioned it to do app already on this, on this channel i already have it i already have a tutorial teaching you how to build a to do app so after you after have built a to do app try and build a blog application why do i say blog a blog is more advanced than a to do application a to do application a to do application just simply consists of the crude of the crude operations like the create the retrieve update and delete but right now a blog is quite advanced and to do why because a blog consists of the crude of, of the of the crude application and also you can also add comments to your blog you understand? can add comments and you can also add you can also add the like button and so on so number one be the to-do app number two be the blog application number three try an e-commerce website you understand try building an e-commerce web application e-commerce is quite vast than a blog that's because you're going to have different models Instead, I'm going to have different views for different things. You're going to have different relationship. You're going to have the foreign key, the money to money relationship. So try building an e-commerce website. Understand? So on this channel, on this channel, I also have a tutorial on where I built an e-commerce website with Django. Instead, can check that out if you've not seen it before. I'm going to link. I'm going to link them down in the video's description. Check check, check my channel below. Check my channel. You see, I have tutorials on that. So after you have tried that, I said it must be the to-do app, a blog application, an e-commerce site. Something that have built an e-commerce site, you have gone to the intermediate level of Django. If you can build and implement a payment gateway in an e-commerce web application, that means you've gone, you've gotten to the, you have gone to the level of an intermediate Django developer. So after you have done that, you can stretch your hands, you can stretch your horizons, you can try building a social media application. This, 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 these things are not difficult. This, these things are not difficult. What, what, what you need to do, when you, you, need to, you need to be able to think of how you're going to structure this project. Just, if you can think it, you can build it. If you can think of how you write your models, how, how, you're going to, how, how you write your relationships between models, you can do this. It's, they're, not, they're not difficult. Once, once you can just sit down, think, just think it out. Think it through. You'll be able to do it. That's how it is. So try to do up a blog site, a, an e-commerce application, a social media app. You can stretch your hands. You can try a chat app. I did one here, a real-time chat application. It has done quite well on YouTube. You can see it here, real-time chat application. So I'm going to see add more features to this chat app i will see add more features because i've been having i've been getting a lot of a lot of comments asking that i i add more features to the chat i'm going to add more features to this chat application as i said be the to do app be the blog site be the e-commerce website try and try a social media application you can also try it you can also try a chat application and lastly for you to master django for it to become good and comfortable with Django, I recommend you build anything that has to do with a, 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 anything that has to do with a management system. Like for example a school management system website or an or a hospital or a hospital management system. 
what what thing does do with a management system you just try and build that kind of application you can build them correctly and effectively you are on your way to becoming a django expert in this time so try out any management system application you are good to go as i said earlier you try to do app you try a blog site you try an e-commerce application you try a social media application you can try a chat app you can and lastly to master this django well enough try and build any site that has to do with a management system like a school management system a hospital management system a church management system just try and build them before you know you come in, you, you, you become an expert in django it's as simple as that and after you've done this again you try and learn the django rest framework just try and learn do some project that has to do with django rest framework it's gonna be really really helpful so that's it here and even in the roadmap to learn django i have a video link down below the description just check ju just check down the this video description i link the video there that's that that's a roadmap to learn django it's gonna be really really helpful so check it out it's gonna be helpful so thank you for watching this video so we'll see in the next tutorial so thank you so st stay blessed and have a nice day